Hey guys, what's up? It is Sacred Guardian. We're back with another weapon review. Today we are looking at the MK18, which is this lovely rifle right here. If um, you enjoyed the Honey Badger, it just got a whole lot better. Stick around, guys. All right, so we are going to be doing the same kind of test uh, as we did with the Honey Badger. We, um, we've got two tests. We've got a convoy, and then we're going to go do a mission, uh, kind of like a stealth op or like you would normally do. I'm going to go into Kiwani. It's not going to be the exact same mission just because I want to change things up a bit and not make it uh, too um, systematic, more um, practical and, and ap actual application of the, of, the, of the weapon and stuff like that. Um, I don't want to just keep redoing the same mission over and over and over again because that I feel like that'll get boring for you guys. Anyway, with that being said, here's how I like to run this weapon. I like to run this weapon. You only have one stock, butt stock, but the butt stock has a cool um, design to it. I really enjoy that. It looks really good with the bronze skin, the metal skin, if you have that. Um, I like running the EXPS, uh, the holographic sight. Uh, full auto, semi-auto is great. Um, magazine size, you have a choice of 20 or 30. I personally like the 30. Um, definitely love running the um, rocket launcher and uh, the V4. That's the two that I like to run. I always like to run a rocket launcher because of those situations where you just never know what's going on and it definitely is better for convoy situations. Always like to run the ATP IAL uh, just because I like going into the night vision and seeing that thing glow where it needs to. It, it works really good if you work uh, if you play with other people too in there. Always pretty much run a suppressor. If you put the compensator V2 on this thing and you talk about a laser beam, that bad boy is a laser beam. If you're wanting to get, play loud, this is really good. All right, so our convoy is just getting into spotting range. So let's go ahead and spot that bad boy right there. All right, we'll take him out. Take the gunners out. All right, here we go, guys. Alright, so everybody should be kind of stopped here. Let's see if we can shoot them through here. One, two. One, two, three. Alright, alright. Got some shots here. One, two. Three. One. One shot. It wasn't even a headshot. Two shots. Two shots. All right, time to go chase him down now. Time to go chase him down, fellas. All right, he kind of lost where we're going, so we're just going to move in here to the peep side here. That was a four shot. And three shot. Very, very, very good. Very, very, very good. That was on extreme difficulty. Right here. Extreme difficulty selected. Very good. Very, very, very good. Alright, so we're going to load up our mission now. And um, our mission is going to be the flight plan, if it'll allow me. I might be too close to it. I may have to go away. Nope, we can do it. Okay, perfect. So, flight plans, this mission over here. We'll just steal one of their vehicles and go into it. And, um, that should be good. We'll just steal, yeah, we'll just steal this vehicle. Let's get full ammo here, yeah. So, ammo-wise, you know, you don't have the 50-round magazine like you had on the Honey Badger, but, like I was saying, if you like the Honey Badger... This is like the Honey Badger on steroids. This thing is very, very, very good. It it uh, it has a nice short barrel on it, but you don't really sacrifice the uh, the bullet drop. 
you don't really sacrifice the bullet drop at all with this thing. It, it's very, very good at 200, 250 meters, something like that. Very, very, very good with those. Um, I don't see anybody in that tower. I was going to try to take a long shot for you guys. Is that somebody there? All right, so 276 meters. Here we go. A little low. Still low. And there we go. Right there. Adjust for that much bullet drop at 276 meters. Fantastic. It's like a maybe two feet coming out of a 10 inch barrel. So you got all that handling without really sacrificing much bullet drop at all. All right, so here we got to be a little stealthy. Um, that's the one other thing is this weapon is a definitely louder, noticeably louder than um, the honey badger. So that is something to be aware of. But, very accurate weapon, especially considering how short the barrel is on this thing. So I'm going to sneak over here, go over here, and then I'm going to run over here. This is how I usually like to take this base. And I don't know if I'm going to complete the entire mission for you guys or not right now. All right, so I was suspected there is someone up top here, and I did that on purpose to see if I would get suspected or not, because the honey badger, even though we were within 27 meters of the other guy here, we still were not detected. We were with 27 meters. Can you believe that? That's incredible for detection. I mean, that's just incredible. So, uh, I think he's hiding, like, right behind that. 240-meter shot. All right, we got a 130-meter shot. Guy walking away. Three, two, one, send it. And we're good. All right, we're going to walk over here. I really like to fire these weapons um, up close, um, kind of in the third-person view over-the-shoulder look kind of thing. That's kind of my thing when we get up close. There we go. Nice little neck shot. Nope. And headshot from right there. Nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Uh, 58 meters. That's an easy headshot. Um, what do we have here? 114. Easy headshot. All right. So that pretty much takes care of most of our big issues here. Let's see. Let's see what kind of range we got here. Uh, all right. 250 meters. Here we go. 250. 250 meters. We hit him about in the knee, but it's enough to kill him at that distance. So, you know, as long as you maintain your stealth... 250 meters, no problem making shots all day long. All right, so here we go. So it took six shots to disable the generator. So now we don't have to worry about any um, hostiles coming in. Plus, our jammer is no longer in a, a threat. All right, so we'll go in here. Let's mark targets. We got two coming this way. I'm going to go ahead and mark this, mark this, mark that. And then we'll keep searching and seeing what all we have to really worry about up in this area here. And to save time, we'll ask the Rebels what's going on up in that neck of the woods. And we should be ready to go. We'll go ahead and mark these guys. They should be clear for the taking. All right, he was about to detect me, but we were able to get it clear enough. So we'll let our sink shot cool off. We've got another guy here that we could possibly take out. He's, he's going to turn up this way somewhere close. 
I'm gonna say right here. All right. We got a group of three over that way. Probably gonna be another guy inside this hut. There's always a guy inside this hut. Yeah, probably a guy right there and there we go. There's a guy right there. I have a shot on him. But I think I'm gonna keep moving around the side here. There's always a guy in this other hut. Yep, he didn't get marked. But now he is. Alright. Looks like we got two guys. I'm gonna switch over to a flashbang here. Pick him out. Clear him real quick. Yeah, we should be pretty much in the clear at this point. Yeah. Slam his head to the ground. That sounds good. Very nice. Alright, so I was detected by that guy with that shot right there. Suppressed. So let that... If it was a honey badger, probably wouldn't even have been detected right there. So he's going to step out. That's going to give us a shot on him. All right. I wasn't sure if it was going to penetrate, but one shot was plenty to kill that guy right there. Um, let's go ahead and view this here. That's what I figured. There would be somebody in those. But I think still we should be all right to just rush up here and take what we need up here. All right. This guy's going to be no trouble. We'll interrogate him and make our way back to the helicopter. Uh, I'm sorry, not the helicopter, but the airplane. So that's one reason I like to come into this mission. So this is like a little two-part video for those of you that struggle with doing this mission and staying um, incognito. You pull in, take out the two guys at the checkpoint, and then try to be quickly and, sw and swiftly move to the left there. Go up, take control of that sniper tower there's two guys usually one on the ground one in the sniper tower then move forward take the guy out in the bunker the one under the sniper tower and then the final sniper tower turn get the mg nest turn get the guy at the airplane and that pretty much seals the deal um when you when you get that you take out the generator and then follow the steps that i just did and it pretty much ensures that you're going to be very stealthy in this part. There we go. Sent the message. And still bush plane, which is over here. They just lifted the gate for us. So see those guys turn the corner so you got to be quick there or or just watch what you're stepping into one or the other that's the only ones you have to worry about if, if you do what I did and mess up there and then rest of the time you're just being quick about it make sure and watch the roads here because sometimes there'll be um, some random unidad or something like that that come through on the roads other than that you're in the clear and then be careful is all I'm going to say when it comes to flying this plane out of here. There's a specific route that I'm going to take here that not necessarily ensures your safety, but it's, it's the best route that I've found. I've done this mission hundreds and hundreds of times. Come on, guys. Hop in. I'm waiting on you. Hurry up. There you go. There you go. All right. Steal the bush plane. All right, and we want to stay nice and low here. We don't want to take off just yet. We want to stay nice and low. Stay nice and low. Very, very low. And once we get about halfway through, we're going to pull up now. 
and then basically I'm aiming for straight ahead of where I'm going. I try to stay left of this little peaked mountain here, just left of it. And then once we get past this first little set of mountains, there's a, a, a communications ray. We stay left of the communications ray. And then there's a short little dip right here between the power lines and the communication. It's about exactly halfway. I'm heading straight for it, so if you follow the same exact route, you should be pretty pretty clear for the most part. It's a Mooney Dad right there. And right here. We just want to go straight down. Stay close to the ground, because this is where the SAM sites start to peek out at you. We're going to do a hard nose dive right now so at the moment you know no detection whatsoever and we're just gonna veer to the right just a hair stay close to the ground here Now we need to kind of move up. There's a SAM site to the right, but as long as we stay close to the ground, we should be fine. And see, just before the brink, it goes away. And that's how we do it. And then we come right up here, slowing down. Try to stick this landing. And we're here. And there we go. We've made it to a checkpoint. And now all we need to do is scout this area out, perform some sync shots, and mission over. All right, one, two, three, four, five. All right, we got those guys there. So I'm going to take this guy out by myself. Should be no problem. Yep, nice and quick on the draw. Alright, we got flashbangs ready. Alright, so there's a group of three over there, so I'm gonna have this guy and this guy sink shot. And that guy as well. And as soon as they're ready, I'll take this guy out. He's flashed, and we are good to go. Interrogate the buyer, and there we have it. So, mission complete. We were able to stay very stealthy. We took a couple little range shots there just to test how well that this gun can handle the range on top of it. Um, when it comes to damage on this thing, even when they're alerted, it was two, three shots with a high fire rate, um, and that was at two, 250 meters. So no big deal whatsoever to handle enemies with. But guys, I hope you like this rifle. It is a AR variant of a short barrel uh, rifle. It's uh, known as the Mach 18. Um, very widely used among the special forces from my knowledge. Um, and they love it. And I can see why. This weapon, fantastic. It's like a honey badger on steroids that gets a grenade launcher. I mean, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Guys, if you're looking for a gun that you can run all the way through ghost mode with, shooting range targets, up close targets, alerted battles, um, handling convoys with a grenade launcher, this is your rifle, guys. Mach 18, totally worth the money. You need to buy it. It is a fantastic weapon. Highly recommend it. Probably my favorite weapon inside of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Hope you guys enjoyed this. My name is Sacred Guardian. And I will see you in the next video. And remember, as always, guys, it's not how many you kill. It's how many you save. See you later.